What is going on you guys, Bastion Wide Joe here, and today uh, I'm not going to be doing a face cam for this one guys, just because I want to make sure I focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, a test hand video for the Tri-Brigade Leerless deck that I just profiled yesterday, so if you guys have not checked that out, definitely make sure to go ahead and do so. Uh, link will be in the description as long as I have a card up here so I'm going to go ahead and check that out. But I really just want to go ahead and go over with you guys, uh, I guess, uh, show you the potential of this deck, what it can do. So I'm going to be doing a few test hands here. I already shuffled the deck a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and do just a little bit more before we get into it. So if you guys like these type of videos and you want to see more test hands, combo videos, things like that with IRL cards, let me know in the comment section down below. But also let me know by smashing that like button and that subscribe button for me guys. We really appreciate it and let's get right into it. We should be shuffled up enough. Alright, so our first hand is going to consist of uh, Harvey's Feather Duster, amazing. Fractal, uh, we got Fractal, <laughs> we got Karas, and we got a Warbler. Alright, look at that. Look at at that okay okay so it's a few different rounds we could take this um let's see so as far as this goes i think we're just gonna go ahead and, and well this is kind of useless <laughs> going first uh we're gonna activate the fractal from our hand now fractal uh has an effect that if this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard you can send one level three or lower beast beast or wing beast monster from your deck to your hand so we're gonna go ahead and do just that. So we're gonna go ahead and start filling up our graveyard. Uh, we're gonna send the Tri Brigade Kit uh, to the graveyard as well, and then Tri Brigade Kit. When she's sent to the graveyard, you actually send another Tri Brigade monster from your deck to the graveyard. So another foolish burial for us. So we are gonna end up sending the Nerval. So Nerval, uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a Tri Brigade monster from your deck to your hand as well. So. We're gonna go ahead and go through the trifecta, guys. Uh, now we already have the uh, Warbler in our hand, so I think we just go ahead and get uh, let's get another Karas from here. I want to make sure that our tankies are still alive in the deck. Plus, we already have Fractal in hand, so there's really not much sense going and getting too crazy. So let's see. Um, hmm what to do here. I could go ahead and summon up the Warbler, just have another monster on board. Uh, but at this point, I think we're just gonna go ahead and keep him as discard fodder. fodder. So I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see. Activate Kuros from hand because our opponent already knows that we have a Kuros in hand from our searching it. And we're gonna be discarding the Turquoise Warbler. So we're going to special summon the Karas, that's now in the graveyard. Now we've already used all of our uh, graveyard tribrigade effects, so then we're going to go ahead and activate Karas to banish two. So we're always, I'm trying to keep the Leerless monster in the graveyard in the event that we have, we draw into a barrel canary or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and banish the Kit and Nerval to summon out our Ferajit. So Ferajit is then going to go ahead and activate its effects and then allow us to special summon the Fractal. Okay. Uh, Fractal's effect, and we still have not normal summon. So Fractal's effect, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and kick in. I special summon that over here. Fractal's effect is gonna activate, and then we're gonna be banishing the Warbler and the Tribrigate Fractal from our grave to special summon the uh, Rampart from our uh, from our extra deck. All right, so once we are done here, what we can do is actually go ahead and one, two, three, four. Let go of all four of these to summon out an Opelousa, right? And then we're gonna activate some effects. So we're gonna activate Bear Room, Chain Link 1 and Farage Chain Link 2. So we have our hand, Farage is gonna allow us to draw one and put one back. So we're gonna put this back and then Bear Room's gonna activate to let us search the Revolt. And then put one back, so we're gonna put the Harpy's Feather Duster back from here. So then we set the Revolt, and now we have a 4 Negate Opelousa, and a Tri Brigade Revolt, and an Ash in hand, all from that combo. So 
See how using the Turk, the Allureless Warbler as additional fodder as well is going to be really essential also. Uh, so there's multiple ways that you could have gone around that. I just think that that's probably going to be the safer play to go with. So another route that we could have taken this, and I've gone back all the way back to our almost first hand where uh, we searched out the Kuras because we drew double fractal. So another thing we could have done from here, again, we did not normal summon last time at all. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and activate Kuras effect to discard the Warbler and special summon the Kuras, activating Kuras effect to banish four, which lets us special summon a Shirag the Ominous Omen. So, uh, then we link off these two into the Farajit, and then Omen, uh, Omen is going to go ahead and activate to search us. Let's see, we can search out a DD Crow. You can search out a DD Crow, but you can also take this a different route. So, as far as the Ominous Omen is effect, you get to add. Um, any Beast Beast Warrior or Winged Beast Monster from your deck whose level is less than or equal to the number of Banished Beast Beast Warrior Winged Beast Monsters. So, because we still have not normal summon, we can search the DD Crow in order to have that during our opponent's tur turn. Or, we can actually go ahead and search out a... Where is it? We can search out the Celestine Wagtail. Right? So... You might be asking yourself, why Why would I even you know, do this? Uh, so then you activate Farajit's effect to special summon the Wagtail. Wagtail is then going to activate her effect to search out Bird Call. Right? And then we're going to activate Bird Call. To be able to add to our hands Barrel Canary. And Barrel Canary is pretty much going to be used as a setup for next turn also. So, uh, then you normal summon the Fractal, and you activate Fractal's effect, banishing these two. Uh, banishing the Ominous Omen is also good to do, just because it, that way it can get called by the Grave, and it, cause, uh, in the event that it does, uh, then you won't be able to use your Omen's effect during your opponent's turn. So it's definitely something to keep in mind as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and summon out our Barabrum. So. Uh, from here, we can actually do a very, very similar play as we did prior to, and where we can uh, into an Appaloosa with four negates. Again, similar as last time, uh, that we would search a revolt and draw one, but in this scenario, we also have an additional barrel canary in our hand. So we put these two back for whatever we draw and search out the revolt. And then next turn, we can activate barrel canary to special summon the Celestine Wagtail, which Wagtail is then going to activate to search out another bird call. And then we have our uh, Lyralisk place from there. So that's going to be the test hand number one for you guys. There's two different ways you could have taken it. Uh, one does get you a little bit more resources with the um, with the uh, searching of the Barrel Canary. I just think the first play was probably a little bit more safe, but we did not use the normal summon as well. So uh, there is a little bit of loss factor as far as what I guess what could have been. So that's going to be test hand number one. Now let's go on to test hand number two. Alright guys, we've shuffled the deck, cut our deck multiple times, now let's go for test hand number two. We got Karas, we have Foolish Burial, one for one, we have the kit, and we have the kit. So, a very very heavy Tri-Brigade uh, like hand. Let's see what we can do here. So, okay. so with this hand there's a few things that we can definitely do. Uh, I'm going to start off with the one for one to discard the kit. There's a huge, huge ash bait as well because they also see we're playing tri brigade and we have the one for one in our hands. It's actually going to go ahead and allow us to special summon out the Cobalt Sparrow from our decks. Cobalt Sparrow says when she is special summoned, add one level one winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to add. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Add the Nerval to our hand. Okay, so next we are going to activate Kuras' effect, special summon, and discard. And next, I'm going to go ahead and activate Foolish Burial to... This is pretty much is going to fuel up our graveyard. We're going to send the kit. Uh, Kit's effect is going to send the Nerval. Nerval's effect is going to add a Fractal to our hands, right? 
Okay. So now our graveyard is essentially full. We have four beasts, uh, well, th three beasts with three kids in the grave, and then one Nerval as well. So now we have the Nerval and a Fractal we can definitely use. So we're gonna go from here. I'm just gonna normal summon the Nerval. And I'm gonna activate Nerval's effect to banish four from our grave from our graveyard. We're just gonna special summon an Omen. Okay. So next we are going to no. So that's gonna be yeah yeah no no that's good that's good that's good. So now what we do from here is we can go ahead and overlay these two into a Recital Starling. Activate Recital Starling's effect to add another level one monster. So we're going to go for the Sapphire Swallow. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to link these two off into Farajit, uh, and then Ominous Omen's effect is going to then activate to add us another level 1 monster. So let's see, in this case, let's go ahead and search out the Celestine Wagtail. Uh, so because we control a Winged Beast, I'm going to activate Sapphire Swallow. To special summon itself and a wagtail from the hand. So basically, with Sapphire Solo, what she does is if I control a Wingbeast monster, I can special summon both this and one level one Wingbeast monster from the hand. So special summon the wagtail. Activate wagtail's effect to search out the bird call. There we go. So we have bird call in hand, fractal in hand. Overlay these two. Into a Sylvan Princess Sprite, right? So we're gonna activate a uh, Princess Sprite to mill the top card of our deck. All right. So if it were a spell or trap, we get to add it to our hand. If not, since it was not, we're gonna send it to the graveyard. We're gonna overlay with these two and make an F zero. And then we're going to make a Topic Draco Future on top. So then we're going to activate Farajit's effect, special summon Fractal. Fractal is then going to activate to banish two. Uh, so we're going to banish the Omen and the... Let's see, we're going to banish the Omen and the Karas. Keeping a lot of the Tri Brigade, uh, the Lyra Lust names in the graveyard. We're going to do that to summon out the Rampart. And then we're gonna link, let's see, link these three off, summon out Appaloosa, and you really guys do this so you can chain block, so chain link one, uh, Barabram, chain link two, uh, Farajit, so Farajit activates, great, put this back, and then Barabram activates, so then we search A Trabigade Revolt. Right? So we end our turn with an Opelousa with three negates, a Topic Draco Future, and also a Trabigade Revolt, uh, which is really all we need to go ahead and get going. So that's gonna be it for test hand number two. I right, guess so as far as these goes, I just want to go ahead and say if you guys know uh, a better lines to go ahead and do with this, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, so we can all learn from this experience together um, as far as that goes. I mean, essentially, we are here as a uh, community to learn from one another um, as well. So if you guys know better routes, uh, different texts that you guys play, definitely let me know in the comment section down below, and we will definitely test them out next time. All right, guys, this is it for the last uh, test hand of the video. We are going to have Warbler. We're going to have Sparrow. We're going to have Swallow. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be a Lyra Lusk hand, uh, a Fractal, and we're going to have another Warbler. So this this is pretty uh, pretty gas, uh, as I would like to say. Um, Alright, so it's pretty straightforward to go into. Uh, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and activate Fractal first, and this is going to bait out any type of negates as well. So we're going to activate Fractal, 
And again, this is just to bait out the negates as well. If it goes through, it goes through. If not, it's all good. Uh, so we're gonna send Kits, and Kits gonna send the Nerval, and Nerval is gonna search us a Kuras from the deck. Search the Kuras. There we go. So this is our hand now. So we're gonna go ahead and activate the Warbler because you control no monsters. Because special summon him free. Uh, activate Warbler's effect because special summon from the hand to special summon a Cobalt Sparrow. Cobalt Sparrow is then going to activate because it was special summoned. I get to add a level one winged beast. So I'm going to search for a Nerval. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we are going to activate our Sapphire Swallow. Oh, actually, not, not yet, not yet, not yet. We're going to overlay these two to go into our Recital Starling. Activate Recital Starling to search our decks for a Celestine Wagtail. Okay. So now we have refilled our hand and we're going to keep on going. Sapphire Swallow will special summon itself and the Celestine Wagtail. And then Wagtail will actually get you search. Remember, this is a tanky. Uh, let you search out a bird call from deck. There we go. So that is pretty much using all of the uh, Lyra-less cards except for Barrel Canary. But like I said, Barrel Canary, you just play her at one. I, I play her at one at least. Just because she's more of a, uh, a different game piece. So activate Sylvan Princess and hope that we get either a spell trap if not, it's okay, because we're really just fueling up our graveyard even more. Awesome, so <laughs> we got another bird call, great. Uh, so now we have two bird calls in hand, uh, but there's really no much, not much need for them. So we're going to go ahead and uh, overlay these two, and when you overlay two Xyz monsters or materials, of course they're going to fall off. Go into Utopic Future and go into Draco Future. So at this point, your opponent should have definitely already either ashed you or nibiru'd you if they had it. So if you've gotten this far, you should be pretty in the clear. Also, you now you have a negate on board with Draco Future. And now you have seven materials in the graveyard to go about your uh, link place. So uh, do not believe we have... Uh, we have normal summon just yet, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna normal summon out our Nerval. Activate Nerval's effects to banish four. To banish these four. And summon out the Omen. Next, link these two off. Summon out Fergeet. Fergeet effects. Special summon out the Karas. Okay, Karas effect. We are going to be finishing this and this to summon out the uh, Bear Brum. And then we are going to be linking these three off. So you get an Opelousa but with a goddess and then we're gonna go ahead and activate chain link one uh, bear broom chain link two fair sheet so let's see what we draw draw into a DD crow well great so put the bird call back and then the ramparts gonna go ahead and activate to search us our revolt back there we go the revolt is going to go to our hand, and I want to say we can go ahead and put back the uh, the warbler potentially, just because bird call is uh, such a such an insanely good card uh, that we're, if we need it, we'll just add it back to our hand. Set that, and we are good to go from there. So that is it for our test hand video, guys. Like I said, if you guys know better lines that you could have gone or played through with this, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, but honestly. We're just trying to get a better feel for what the deck can do. Uh, essentially with this, you're putting up three, four negates, five interruptions, six uh, with the DD Crow, six plus interruptions you're putting up on a pretty much every other hand basis. Uh, I think we made this same board at the last hand as well, and the first hand which is like one less interruption. So overall, I think, like I said before, the Lyra-less cards add a lot of diversity to the Tri-Brigade strategy. I think they just add a little bit more of a 
high speed, high tempo type of deck. But again, if you guys want to see a pure tri Brigade deck profile, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll definitely go ahead and get that for you guys. But like I said, if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, let me know by smashing that like button and that subscribe button as well, guys. I know it's kind of like probably going to be one of the longer videos, if anything. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and get my thought process out for all these. Or at least it's it's long in recording. I'll probably chop it up in editing to make it not as long for you guys. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one.